Icker. <clears throat> oh, Corbin, hello. Hey, SR XLN. Hey, Barna. Hey, Dunza Light. Look at the light in this room. It's so blue. Like the sun is reflecting off the snow outside. And changing the light temperature of the room. It's really interesting. Oh, I slept very badly on my shoulder. Tesla cheese sticks, IDM, Inflamers, Sam Carfax, hello, 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 oh. Keep Bob links for the year. Hey, DJ McMahon. Hey, Fampy. Am I properly cultivating my inner self to achieve immortality again today? We'll see. We'll see. Hey, Nakanupa, I don't actually know if this is PC only or not. I am not sure. Hey, Bella, came into Logan. He has me, guy. He fractal mag bye. Does anybody else know if it's PC only? It feels like it could work on other platforms. I also remember that the United States has a space force. <laughs> There's a great documentary about that, I believe, with John Malkovich and Steve Carell. <coughs> Sorry. Hey, all footage is archived. Hey, Discomfort. Hey, Seth Roth Gaming. Hey, Neo Jaxi. Hey, Fluffy Cow. Hey, Fenner. Wait, there's a rogue light mode? Oh. How's it going, Jabas? Yeah, Seth. Hey, Lord Bio. Hey, Karyaga. Pyronaut. What's this rogue light mode? I thought there was only PvP. Explore. One click to receive. Beginning of the cultivation? That's the tutorial. Is this the roguelite mode? Pavilion at the bottom right. That one? Enter the primitive uncharted realms and collect Rule Fragment in the projection of the history. Interesting. All right, I'm gonna play just the PVP first. But perhaps someday I will play that. We're going to play as, as this, this dainty swordsman. <laughs> Find fellow friend. What does human immortal five mean? Entirely now, what I was meant to do there. Immortal 5 is their PvP rank. Ah, uh, I am Immortal 1. So, if you haven't seen this game yet, 1. Where have you been? 2. Uh, we basically create a turn of Slay the Spire cards. And then we play them against other people's turns of Slay the Spire cards, and it goes through your deck over and over again. Elixirist. And then ideally we win. Fundamental Elixir. I get a free card change at the start of each round. Oh, I got this. So now I could like drop that and that 
play this and this. Is this still free? I think this is still free. Fundamental Elixir looks like defect. Interesting. You can have two cards which exhaust, basically. So this one exhausts so that I won't draw it anymore now that it's gone. That was my idea. Although, it was probably not worth it to put it in my deck and now I am getting murdered. Which is fair. Um, fair but unlucky. I needed one more defense because this card... Oh no. That's a different card from what I thought it was. Never mind. Thunder Sword 2? Let's level. When we level, anytime you play a cell, Cloud Sword card gain a defense. At the beginning of the battle, add a stack of Sword Intent. If you do not attack this turn, add three defense. Let's do that one. So on turns I don't attack, I add more defense. So I don't attack that turn or that turn. all this. Alright. Hey, the dude is going alright. Ward Square, EJK. This is an auto battler with eight players, and depending on how much health we have left at the end of the fight, we deal damage to other people. Depending how far you can go inspire if you just start playing cards from left to right, maybe starting with five energy. Oh, you can definitely win runs like that. You just need to have very specific decks and relics for it to be a winning strategy. This is PvP. I think you can play against bots as well if you want. Give me Murtastic. Reach Incarnation and get Unrestrained Sword Zero. This is the Claw deck. Unrestrained Sword is Claw. You just get lots of Unrestrained Swords. Okay, I'll just take a card. It would be nice to, um... Something like that should be okay, I think. You bought this game after, last night after the Clogger game, and you like it a lot. It's kind of sweet, huh? Star point. I still don't know what this person does. The next one slots in your deck becomes star point. Right. Ooh, I did an injury? Uh -oh. <laughs> I kind of have a delta point of damage at this fight. Oh. The game has um, two currencies. It's got the currency you get by just playing the game, which unlocks lots of things for you. Fuck this shit.
Um, and then it has a currency you can pay for. You also get small bits of it as you play the game, which can buy you cosmetics. My fucking back is sore. I might turn the camera off so I can, uh... on how much my back hurts without you watching me. Sword in town somewhere, right? No, I don't. Could level this up. Whenever you use Cloud Sword, add 2 HP. I do not have a single Cloud Sword. Unlucky. <laughs> that does make this worse. I guess I'll keep rolling. You're hesitant to spend money on this game, you don't really know why. Huh. Maybe it looks like it would be too fun? She is like energy. It also interacts with some cards. So the cards with the number in the top left require that much chi to actually play. On top of that, I have cards which are like for every chi that you have do something. Ooh, the storybook brawl, yeah. I am using Raven Spirit Sword plus Chi Generation to win. Destiny is my health. Absorb works on my experience, which is cultivation, every time I absorb a card. I gain experience effectively. I don't think I want to keep rolling when my deck is like kind of fine. I have 17 out of 25 rerolls. That goes up by like three every round or something. But if I wait until I'm high level, I can use them to find the better cards. The brown cards are level one cards. Green ones are level two, blue are level three. I forgot what level four looks like. There's like orange and yellow, I think, are the next two. There are five total levels of cards. If you find two cards that are the same, you can combine them, which gives you one experience and upgrades the card. At the beginning of each of your turns, apply one stack of internal injury to the opponent. I take three every turn. For each sword intent, add three defense. Next attack ignores defense. Injured return the sword intent to use this card. Yeah, yeah. Your deck's really good against mine. <laughs> Fair enough. I was killed by noxious fumes. Or something like that. I think I'm just going to level up here. Do 
Draw one Immortality Phase of Fortunes card. I don't know what that means. This is like Ice Block, I think. Like a Lizard Tail. Exchange, draw a Spiritual Pet card. Continuous, absorb the... Deal. Why not? I can only have two continuous things now. Has to be like that. Ooh, that goes through armor too. Defense plus 29. What is this trash? Wait, I already fought you. You beat me like two rounds ago. Why are you beating me again? That's unfair. <laughs> he still needs club. I'm at 11 cultivation more than that player, so who's the real winner? I should probably find another card I could play. Sure. We have magnificent hair, somewhat true. So you can click ready in this game, and I think if your opponent also clicks ready, you get to fight. I'm not sure how it all works. I don't think everybody has to click ready though, because it happens too often. It works too, too frequently. I am the only Jorbs in my lobby, that's for sure. Attempted to watch some of the previous VOD on this, it seems very, very confusing. I think it's not that confusing, it's just kind of fast. At least this is my experience. The art style and the music, it's a good vibe. The atypical naming scheme is- what was that? <laughs> Just died. <laughs> cloud hit. In two stacks of increased attack. That's probably good. We should try to cloud hit that. Which means I need a cloud sword. Just any Cloud Sword, really. Just any Cloud Sword. Just literally any Cloud Sword.
All right, I'm gonna do something like that. Is it good? I think it got slightly worse because I think I took all of my chi away, so I don't make block anymore. But that's okay. <laughs> Is cloud KO sword a cloud sword? Yes. I think so. It sounds believable. Am I done with the Uncharted Realms? Attack times equal to your remaining... I don't understand what that is. Am I dead yet? I'm on 10. They're not messing around up here. In the high elo bracket. I should use some chase stuff, though. Two, four. Maybe like that. Probably want to keep rolling. Cloud dance rhythm. Sure, we'll do that. Giant coon, very nice. Okay. Does rolling use any currency? Yes, I have a set number of rerolls. I find it weird that I have a certain amount of health at the start of the fight, and I look at it and I think, oh nice, I am at 84 health in the game. And then I look at my actual health and it's 10. Which is worse. That's a lower number. Hmm. My dad? An early eighth. A quick defeat. This is the first time I've lost MMR. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know what my character just said, but I don't imagine it's good. A global chat. I don't think this is a global chat. I think it's just talking with the other people in my party, which is zero people. I have no friends. Added Lil Ninko as a friend last night, I think. I'm not sure if I, I'm not sure if my friend request was accepted. Amy Hughes, invite me. Amy hey, Wellington. Should we do a different character? Let's buy a really weird character. How do I even do that? Character. Oh, this one, the Umbrella Lady. I liked the Umbrella Lady. The Umbrella Lady uh, defeated me lots of times. And then there are also... I don't want to do the potions anymore. Side jobs. Let's open a new type of thing. Let's be musicians. All right, I don't know what that means. Let's find out though. This is probably the most complicated. Let's find out. You like the umbrella lady a lot. She's a five character. 
I don't know what that means. We have a Tower of Entropy. Hey, Cody. UGI was the solo that helped you to enlightenment 200 years ago. Oof. Activate Water Spirit. The Water Spirit follow-up effect can be triggered without the condition. Water Spirit. If the last card played with a name contains Water Spiller or Mental Spirit. Like, I don't have enough time to look at this. Draw one Water Spirit card when break through the phase. Force of Water. At the end of your turn, for each stack of Force of Water, deal one damage to opponent. Okay. Just cultivate to golden core. I don't know what that means. How do I cultivate? Does my character have like cards that cultivate particularly well or something? Musician, using a tune to affect both sides and take control of the battle. When this card attacks, it ignores defense. Wood Spirit. Fire Spirit? I want to discard six. <laughs> You like this elemental spirit mechanic? Yeah, it's interesting, right? I'm not sure my strategy of just leveling up over and over again is a super great one in this situation, though. Do you need to play Water Spirit first, then activate it? If the last card you played with the name contains Water Spirit or Metal Spirit, then trigger this card's Water Spirit follow-up effect. If already activated, then trigger the follow-up effect directly. If already activated, activate Water Spirit. Oh my god. Oh my god, I won around for the first time, like, today, I think. <laughs> I think that might be the first time today. If your opponent or your self-defense is greater than zero, three attack more. Continuous. Both players' normal attacks add four attack. What is a normal attack? I wonder. Metal Spirit. Penetrate plus two. Metal spirit or earth spirit. Oh shoot, it like... The opponent is injured, it will trigger and clear penetrate and the stack will injure the opponent by one. So it like goes in a circle or whatever. That's kind of cool. At the beginning of the battle, activate five innate elements. Innate five elements is water. Draw one water spirit card when break through the fan. At the beginning of the battle, activate innate five elements. Oh, so it's random? It's random what my innate thing is? So depending on which one I get, I have to do different things. I get it now, I understand. Well, I kind of, I mean, I have finished reading the character's description. <laughs> I still don't know what any of the cards are. One again. Water, wood, fire, earth, metal in a circle. Hmm. If you ever use Musician's card, or the next slot in your deck is Musician's card. Chase. 
Water spirit waves. I already have that one. Oh, it's level three now. Oh, it says up here. Wood generates fire. Metal generates water. Water generates wood. Then... Wood generates fire. No fire. I don't have fire. But if I did... Oh boy. Metal spirit is from earth spirit, which I have there. Alright. I haven't finished the description either. She has more levels. Wait, what does that mean? What are more levels? Oh no. Oh no. Was Cracking Voice Duplicate a level up? I guess I should have done that, yes. There's no reason to pretend that I'm going to get this close to right. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> it's fine. We're, <laughs> we're just gonna do our best. <laughs> Karthus thinks so 25 months. Water spirit. I have activated water spirit, so I have it for the rest of the fight, I believe. In fact, I think I just always have it for the entire fight. Is that correct? It doesn't really look like it is, actually. What is this two down here? This battle, the water spirit follow up effect can be triggered without the condition. Oh, yes. So I, I do have it. It appears. So we go water spirit... Water, to wood, to fire, to earth, to metal. Lose one cultivation. Draw one related innate five elements level two spirit formation card. Continuous. Every time you play the water spirit card, add one chi. Okay. Something vaguely like that. Let's upgrade these because I don't think there's a downside. I have more cracking voice. Wait, I had two of them? I thought I only had one. You have to combine two level two ones to get to level three. Is the umbrella lady I am battling the same umbrella lady as me? Or a different umbrella lady? 
Wait, we have like the same deck, kind of. Kind of. Evil clone. Continuous. The damage of destiny for the defeated player will reduce by 5, minimum to 1. Stack decay. When the same estate is stacked, this card's effect will decrease. Sorry, where does fire go? It goes after wood. And then, after fire, I do earth. And then after earth, I do metal. I don't know what penetrate is. If the opponent is injured, it will trigger and clear penetrate, and each stack will injure the opponent by 1 HP. If the opponent is not injured, it will not trigger and retain penetrate. I do not know what that means. <laughs> do not know what that means. Penetrate is Akabeko if you break their defense. Wait, like the next attack has Akabeko, so I want to put Penetrate before a multi attack? Is that what you're saying? What happens if you loop? You start at the start of the deck again, but you can have up to two cards with exhaust. Whoa, close fight. doesn't work with multi-attacks, so it's just like a bigger strike, yeah? Both players' cards add two attack. Get that out of my sight. Wood Spirit, if HP already added. If HP already added. Add one HP. Smash defense. Reach attack offset by opponents. Oh, it deals extra damage to defense. Okay. I think I could just level. I have so many rerolls. Ouch, Fenner. VR is rough. Does this game also use the destructive cycle or just the generating cycle? Is that a question about elements that I don't know? I don't know the answer about that. Are different card colors type of card or level or both? Different colors are what level you as a character have to be to start finding them. Different borders show how upgraded they are. Oh, one HP. It also uses the destructive cycle somewhere, apparently. The opponent decreases 3 HP and max HP. I don't think I will ever use Hacking Voice. Lose 2 Cultivation, draw 2, overcome with each other. If the card in the previous slot has overcoming interaction of five elements with the card in the next slot, then activate the five elements of the card in the next slot and chase. Oh no. <sighs> um. If the card in the previous slot 
is overcoming interaction of five elements with the card in the next slot. Would that be here? Does that work? Okay, does anybody know what that means? <laughs> does, does anybody know what this means? Looks like you put them in between two adjacent elements on the circle. If it's in between elements, it doesn't break the chain. Use all five element types and use that card. It's four elements across from each other. Earth to water to fire to metal to wood. But why? Why why is it those numbers? <laughs> if I may if I may ask a question. Mouse over so we can read the full description. Alright. <laughs> fun. I'll uh I'll be back in five minutes. What overcomes Earth? If the card in the previous slot has overcoming interaction of five elements with the card in the next slot, wood overcomes Earth. Water overcomes fire. Like that. Yeah? No. Oh my god. I could have upgraded that card. It's not great for our friends at the... And activate the five elements in the next card and use its effect up to level two. <sighs> <laughs> I think I'm starting to understand a little bit. Water overcoming fire overcoming wood is also valid. Okay. Five element stuff is assumed knowledge. Well, they do also explain it. Ooh, that hits for 20. It's a big number. One HP? Really? So now... The thought I had was I could play this before... This, maybe? And then I could, um... Um... Wait, no. I play it like here or something? Five element generating interaction. Wait, that one doesn't work, because that one's not backwards. That's the that's forwards. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um I have another chase card. I need a fire card. I need a fire card. If 
think. Any old fire card. Literally any fire card. I don't think that's actually a fire card. Is that a fire card? Even if it were, it isn't a good one. There we go. Well, that one also has chase. You can only chase once per turn. Chase is like you play the next card as well. I'm a fire card in your heart. Thank you. I wonder what overcome with each other upgrades into. Alright, this seems like a good way to spend my day, trying to learn a single thing that any of this character's cards do. <laughs> Play more defense, that makes sense. Five more cards. Let's get rid of this nonsense. That was probably a pretty good one, actually. I don't need this, I've decided. I've decided I don't need this. I'm never going to level that up, that's fine. I gave up. This is a consume card. This isn't working. Well, let's just upgrade these. Exchange card chance limitation plus five. Each element in five elements will have an extra effect when triggered for the first time. They are, and then it tells me what three of them are, and then the rest of it is cut off <laughs> because the text doesn't fit. Um. Wonderful. Chinese is denser than the English alphabet. It was a relic, yes. I win? Yes! <laughs> Apparently. I didn't even think I was attacking there. Both players lose one lose three HP when they attack. Fascinating. Well I'm in incarnation phase now. Gain one stack of increased attack. HP 3. With Wood Spirit, it chases. I have Wood Spirit.
if I went from wood to wood overcomes earth. Wood overcomes earth? Wood overcomes earth. I oh, wasn't this really strong. Can I put this here? <laughs> My poor brain. So, so I'm curious. I think this uses this twice now. Maybe. Hey, Nenko. How are you? Circulation is do the bonus of the next one, so having it chase wouldn't help. Oh, it's only the bonus of the next one? I'm very confused. I'm glad I have an umbrella. What just happened? <laughs> I think I got a lot of increased attack stacks, maybe? I made their max HP go away, I think. I'm doing the entire card thing, so I'm not chasing, but I am healing and getting increased attacks. Yo, they're dead! <laughs> imagine... Imagine if this character were um, being piloted well, how strong it would be. Add one HP for every three opponents HP injured by this card. No. In three stacks of Force of Water, Water Spirit, add six HP and max HP for each stack of Force of Water, add one more point. What goes to water? Metal generates water. I kind of want to do this one twice. If there is only ty one type of five elements in your deck when played, five elements card was not attacked, the opponent ch <laughs> I read that. <laughs> It caused me to shrink into my, like, into my inner self, and then I rerolled it so I didn't have to think about what it was saying anymore. Game could use some better localization. Continuous. Both players cannot trigger chase. I think I want this. I wonder what it upgrades to. Hijinoki! Do I think it's plausible to balance a character's strength by having that strength locked behind extremely complex mechanics? For whom? Balance does not exist as an abstract. It exists only in terms of like, uh how players playing the game experience the game. Oh, I've fought against this build before. I'm about to die. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I've fought against that build before. <laughs> Oh, 
That's what I thought it would upgrade to. Okay, I can no longer trigger chase. Wait a second. It looks a lot like I want to be able to trigger chase though. I've changed my mind. Oh shit, what does this have to be? A wood card. I think I can find a better wood card. I think this water spirit's pretty good, actually. Well, cultivation matters still because it does something. Beautiful. Uh, an actual perfect deck. Is the increase attack even doing anything? Let's not talk about it. Let's not. Some questions are best not to ask. What happens if people tie? What if you just both have decks that cannot deal damage to the other person. You can reroll cards until you run out of rerolls. The bottom right, I might be sitting on top of it actually, the webcam. I feel like this is very unfair. I feel like my opponent just like, I don't know, built sensible cards that comboed together. <laughs> instead of not doing that. All right, I feel like I'm almost, I mean, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but I feel like I'm almost perfectly um, understanding how to play this character already. This is online, yeah, it's an auto battler. My opponent's HP was going the wrong way. Well, the right way for them, the wrong way for me. Good grief. Alright, who am I this time? I'm still a mortal one. This time I am innate element metal. And metal turns into water. Ow. Ow. Their numbers seem to be slightly larger than mine. Very unlucky. I think I, like, actually played that turn okay, though. Which feels good. By respecting the circle of element is important first. <laughs> that means. Musician seemed kind of bad. I'm going to go back to Elixirist. Activate Wood Spirit. Wood goes to water. 
but I can't afford to play that. Water goes to wood? Either way. I wonder what the metal cards are like. Ooh, that is upgraded. Upgraded Thunder Sword, too powerful. Like, way too powerful. Water to wood. Wood to fire. Fire to earth. Earth to metal. Metal to water. I already have Metal Spirit activated, right? Metal to water. That means draw one foundation phase fortune card. Draw a secret enchantment card. Make the opponent cannot add HP for two turns. Wait, I thought Metal Spirit was always. Oh, it's not. So that's a relic that you can get that makes it so it's immediately active. Okay, I see. I wish I had star power. Attack! Just use strike! Just auto attack it! Well, this is a really good card. Let's try to let's try to focus on building something in the early game here though. So I activate Metal Spirit. Then I use a metal card. Metal goes to water. Whenever you use the Five Elements card for the next one times, activate its Belongs to Five Elements first. Does that make perfect sense to anybody else? Wow. Good morning, the Albion. You can fake and activate. <sighs> sure can. Twitch Prime. Let's level up. I kind of regret my decision to play the hard character. <laughs> kind of a little bit.
Metal to water. It hurts your brain? Yeah, me too. The timer in player combat is too short, especially in early rounds. No time to actually think. That's like how these games work, though. When you're starting out, you don't have enough time to play your turns. Then when you're like used to playing the game and have played it a lot, you have way too much time to play your turns. It's just like the nature of improving at something. Losing 14 HP perk seems nice, lets you play a different character faster. Yeah. Water makes wood. I've activated Wood Spirit already, there, for some reason. Water. Metal makes water. Water also makes water. Earth. I don't have right now. Fire. Wood makes fire. Metal, water. Wood, fire, earth, metal. Learning. This is uh this is good. I'm learning about culture. You don't understand the importance to play certain elements before others. The cards have like a secondary effect which only happens if you have activated a spirit for that effect or played the same type of card or the card that progresses around the wheel prior to that card. Those are the two things. So the wheel goes... It can start anywhere, but it goes water to wood to fire to earth to metal, which makes perfect sense. It actually it actually makes 100% sense. So that's good. So this one could let me like I could drop that and do that and it would work. I'm starting to learn. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't understand why I'm activating Metal Spirit, but I am. I feel like this stuff should all be at the start instead of the end. But the general idea of putting this before that makes sense. If I did that instead, maybe? If I did that as well. That makes more sense, maybe? Fire after wood recovery. Metal enriches water, is the general idea. Okay. It isn't- it isn't weird to me that metal leads to water. It, like, I can accept that with my brain. Significantly more easily than I can accept a lot of the other things that are going on in this game with my brain. 
to be honest. Still don't know what Penetrate does, really. Cliff. Is Cliff Thorns? Don't know what just happened. I need three more to level up. Try this one. Nope, didn't like that. <laughs> Did not like that. Also possible to play just focusing on one or two elements. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I got that. That's what the people who beat me with this character are doing. <laughs> Understood. Upgrade Metal Spirit Seal in your hand and then upgrade the Metal Spirit Seal. Yes, I can. I've been waiting for that for a while. I'll be honest with you. I did not see that those cards existed. Um, what if I just had another one of these? I think I did a bad thing. I think I got rid of one that I wanted. Fires after wood? Nope. Nope. I have leveled that card fully and now I have rolled it away. <sighs> you need metal water to use your first metal card. It's fine, it doesn't do anything. It just makes my water card work. I mean, you are correct that I have not played the turn exactly perfectly. Well done. I hope that your paper will be published somewhere, uh, where it receives the eyes it deserves. Stand the Man fan. Yeah, the goal of the backseater right now is to find literally one thing out of the 50 elements on the screen right now, which is not maximized, and then tell me as though I am an idiot. You idiot. Why haven't you maximized the one element of the 50 things on the screen that I have found to focus on?
You dumbass. <laughs> Upgrade? There was an upgrade? You don't need to wood seal since you're playing all wood in a row so they trigger each other next turn. An interesting idea. It seems plausible that you're right. So you're telling me I could drop that. Hey, you're right. Should I level up? Wood spirit, gain a stack of increased attack. Absolutely not. There. Yes? Yes? I think it kind of works. I think I, I think I did something that kind of works. Liu Yuan But I didn't do the injury thing or whatever. Also, that Wood Spirit recovery card is maybe not the best card in the deck. I did do the injury thing. What does that do again? I don't remember. The umbrella move seems good. Agree. was actually valuable in any way to do what I just did. I think that was a complete waste. 
Because all this upgrade does is let me use a card's ability up to level 3. But I don't have any other cards at level 3. I think that was terrible. What I should have done is just sold this so that the thing that upgraded the card would hit something else. It was impossible to know. I wonder what metal does. Metal. Gain 4 strikes of penetrate. Let's read what penetrate is. When attacking, if the opponent is injured, that means take damage through defense, it will trigger and clear penetrate, and each stack will injure the opponent by 1 HP. So I think it's just delayed damage. Like, I think this card just hits 4. Why does this will not trigger penetrate matter? Oh, there's probably a payoff. Like, if you have penetrate on the opponent, they take 5 times as much damage or something. Selling and upgrading both give Cultivate. Does it give something else? Does it give something else? What is it? This player is so hard on Claw deck right now that they have three basic attacks on their deck. They have four basic attacks on their deck. I think I can win this one. Oh, we're fighting against a ghost. Okay, fair enough. Penetrate is on you, actually. Is there a reason to sell instead of upgrade? Um, no. Well, the reason is that you can't. Always upgrade cards. That is the reason. Add one HP for every three opponents HP injured by this card. But I need another chase in the deck, I think. Unless you do something against chase. Seems bad, by the way. My opponent's deck seems bad. But I heal a lot, maybe I'll be alright. Another chase in the deck. I need to drop my worst wood spirit card, I think. Maybe that's this. Reroll. 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 Destiny plus three. How much destiny do I have? Oh, destiny is health. Okay, sure. Gone path water things with 26 months. percent chance to make additional attack. Okay, okay, all right. Decent. Still very slow. This card's good. And it consumes. What's my worst card? What happens if we chase at the end? Uh, our deck loops around. Debuff decrease three stacks. What the fuck? <sighs> Every time you play the Earth Spirit card, at three defense. If any of five elements has been activated, chase. Earth Spirit. It's six defense in your next turn. Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit. Earth Spirit. 
card up. All right, we're playing against a barricade. Playing against a barricade the deck. Presumably that results in me dying. Seems wrong. We just played a barricade deck and it was kind of cool. Believable. There's no randomness, huh? Oh, there's a little bit of randomness. It's interesting. You can like pretty much just look at your opponent's deck and tell if you're going to win or not. Ooh, Smash was good against them. Unlucky. That's not fair. In one stack of increased HP and chase. Water to five elements. Alright, you just go wood and forget the others. Well, I have to activate wood, right? In order to use this, I need to uh, have a non-wood in my deck. Maybe it's right not to use it, I don't know. The mirror. <laughs> I sure spend a lot of time gaining uh, stacks of plus attack. here. Would that work? I don't think so. Yo, what? Huh. 
I bet that's really good. <laughs> I can't even play it. Okay, that's wrong. <laughs> Continuous is like a power card, yeah. Wait, I could play it. Why did it say I couldn't play it? I lost the turn. Hmm. Whoops. But it's okay. Apparently. Does end of fight damage work? I think it's just uh, based on how much damage you dealt to the op or how much health you had left, rather. Is that even worth upgrading? I don't even know. What do you think this card's meant to be instead? Because it's clearly not meant to be this, right? You truly have no idea what I'm going for. I am making lots of attack damage and then playing Reaper. I'm giving myself lots of strength and then I'm playing Reaper is what I'm doing. Why are we playing water at all? Because I want the five element circle card to be able to do the thing which gives me the most uh, strength in my deck. And it won't do that otherwise. <laughs> Stir fried penguin. Now my Reaper is better. Is it the last turn? Is there a world where Second Reaper is better than Forest Guard? Oh, probably. Yeah, that seems reasonable. Now I should probably do that, I guess. I don't know.
Did I just not chase? I feel like I just tried to chase and failed. Oh no, I succeeded. block though. Now I should have this instead, yeah? Spirit doesn't work on this. Why does this ruin Spirit? Kinda rude. That's the solution, there we go. Chase cards. It's allowed, yeah? Pretty sure three chase cards is allowed. Boom. Can you use one chase card each round? Oh wait. It has taken me two games, but I have mastered the character. I now understand everything about the character's deck and correct play. When break through the immortal fate slot, plus one. Maybe I could uh, like read the character's cards. I mean, you get to do that while you're playing though. So, in that game, I started out with the metal version of the character, and then never played a single metal element card. <laughs> Find fellow friend. This time I'm metal again. Wood to earth? I can't play it. Wait, wood doesn't go to earth? Wood goes to fire. Does earth go to wood? Earth goes to metal. This is a disaster. <laughs> what a what a disaster. We do metal properly this time. I don't know. The ones that I've seen that seem really strong so far are water and wood. I haven't been that impressed by the other ones.
Well, they don't have enough chi to play their card. They might still beat me. I'm going to, like, lose anyway. Gosh, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Are most players AI? I don't know. Was that player AI? Is that why they had two cultivation already? Most chatters are AI like me. Nowadays, like, I only work like two or three days a week and I just have the AI job stream the rest of the time. I asked chat GPT to invent a new channel meme and I just responded with a picture of my face. Is AI job streaming right now? It would be inappropriate for me to answer that question. Water, so water makes wood. Metal makes water. <gasps> wood makes fire? Wood makes more wood? Breakthrough. Okay. I'm gonna run out of chi though. It's okay though, because my opponent will die before then. Right? 16, 26. I think it's really close. Or I'll die before then. What's the blue two and one in the top left? That's their chi cost. If I cannot pay that, my card will not work. Oh! Oh! It's a game of inches. I'm take a metal chase card for when I level up. Wood makes fire? Fire makes earth? Why does it think that I can play these? Oh, because I start with four chi. Right. I sure hope this player doesn't have defense. Yeah, of course not. <laughs> Opening phase seems complex. I think it'll always... Well, actually, depending on who your opponents are in the game, probably the answers are different. I think you're right. I think it is very complex. Much nice. 
Does a redraw mechanic have a cost? No, it doesn't. Oh my god, you're on one? Okay, Force of Water, one. That's good, because I couldn't play my cards anymore. I was out of, uh, out of energy. I do this just because it's kind of cool. <gasps> You're fighting me? Uh oh. You're the wrong guy. I'm getting stream sniped already? Gosh. Getting. Stream sniped and like iron elo. <laughs> it's rough. Game who dis? How's it going, Skippy Goober? 20 cultivation already? How did you have four more cultivation than me? It's messed up. That's not okay. Does this break the thing? It does. People can just look at your board anyway. Lamau. I think it only shows you what board the person played last turn. Eight max HP. You wish you were good enough to take advantage of knowing my board. Hmm. Me too. I'm going to roll that. Worth. We're gonna win this fight by three HP. Hello, incredibly hot sister. How did you all choose your username on Twitch? The doctor you got a spam email from. Wonderful. Exchange, draw a secret enchantment card. When this card is used to exchange card, it will change the result of the card change. Can I wait and exchange this later? Like when I have leveled up? Is that a thing? If HP already added.
Gold inside gold. Joke from high school. 14 and making an account on Nickelodeon. Your parents gave you yours. Nice. Conversation when you were 13 on how you could make the most offensive name that couldn't get you banned on Xbox Live. Seal Meets Club was your attempt. Who exactly is meant to be offended by Seal Meets Club? The seal? You weren't a very smart kid. Don't worry about it. Neither. I don't think any of us were. Ooh. Look at that. Level three? Yo. Should we go Wood Spirit again? Feels like I have a lot of uh a lot of stuff drawing me toward Wood Spirit here. I certainly don't make Chi very well, but you know, we'll work on it. I also seem to ignore defense really well or something. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Something's going on. What percentage of chat knows the origin of Jorbs? I'm gonna guess 20%. That might be too high. Three stacks of force of water. Another one. Ooh. Ooh, so many forces of water. Genuinely, that's a lot of forces of water. Ow. I was doing well until I played Cloud Blixer. Was, uh, thanks for the two years. I appreciate it. Oh, I got this thing. Right. So what if I trade this now? This only gave me a blue one. At least two kinds of five elements have been activated. Chase. Would that, like, work? Where'd my metal thing go? No. I don't know what I'm doing. Cosmos Seal feels like a good wild card activator. Still no source of chi. Cosmos Seal is a source of chi. As far as I can tell. I need some uh, strength gain. Sponsored content isn't really selling out. I don't know about that. Um, the 
these cards are kind of shit. How do I get stacks of increase attack? Or wood spirits again. Does increase attack the wood thing? It seems to be, yes. What? <laughs> Wait, why don't you take damage? Offset 5 points when attacked or damaged. For 2 turns. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Reaven has sniped my game and built a deck that exactly hard counters what I've done. Oh, that's wonderful. That's wonderful. <laughs> Genuinely, though, very funny. Um, all right, I still have fifty two health. Ah, this is the Force of Water player. Okay, I think what this says is that now these two cards will upgrade as I use them, maybe? I think that's what it just told me. Thank you. 
Sparse Shadow before Bud. Probably. Mutual growth. Mutual growth. Look at that. Oh, that is a really strong uh, thing for a deck that I didn't choose to build. So I could play this one twice, or this one twice. I'm in my incarnation phase, where are all my golden cards? Golden cards, hello? I didn't even realize that I'd leveled. World Smash. There. I found Reaper. Can Cosmo Seal be removed since you start in Metal Stance? I don't think I do start in Metal Stance. Pretty sure I don't start in Metal Stance. So I could double use this as well. I could drop this. This has to go here. I'm double playing this and this. Oh, 
What's the mechanic on exchanging cards? You get three exchanges per round and you can bank them up to 25 total, I think. Am I sitting in front of that? I must be sitting in front of that. I've almost finished transforming into giant head. Demon form ironclad. Demon form ironclad is what I'm becoming. My opponent's demon form seems better. It's unfortunate. Oh. I'm dead. Didn't I have like 50 or something? I guess I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I don't think I actually like Umbrella Lady at all. How long have I played this game for? Two hours. Hmm. Sword Man seems very strong. Ow. Let's play Sword Man one more time. The characters are very different. Umbrella Lady was nerfed two or three days ago. I knew it. I took 68 damage from that player. Wait, what? Find fellow friends. I win. Oh, I got a free reroll too, don't I? We get the whale sword again? Gosh, I hope so. Can we play claw again? Musician. Let's try out Musician. Both players add 14 defense. system as a whole was tied to the character. Yeah. Yeah, that entire system is just that character's mechanic. Kinda must stop, huh? Nobody's stopped to ask if they should do it, though. Sword intent is like flex for the next card or something. what I'm doing. Surely there's something I can roll here. <gasps> Do we hold that? Let's hold it.
everyone in chat knows exactly what claw is. I love this. <laughs> For every game that I ever play, the first thing everyone in chat will learn is which card is claw. Giant Coon Spirit Sword. Why would I want both players out of three? But <laughs> these are so bad. <laughs> um, I'm ready. Be curious how different from Claw a card can get and still be recognizable as Claw. Demon form is Claw. Barricade is Claw. Slime boss is Claw. Observation. Maybe I should put my cards that deal more damage earlier in my deck and my cards that deal less damage later in my deck. Giant Whale, Spirit Sword. And now we're talking. Never. Nah. Nope. Nope. Maybe. No. 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 I guess no. How do you... How do you make them all slide over left? <laughs> I know there's a way to do it. <laughs> I've done it before. This looks like a game where I can become a pro gamer. He uses RGB everywhere, ends up getting second as a big tournament, that's a lot of viewers, and then gets a proposal to stream another platform. Ends up coaching wannabes for $100 an hour. You think so? You seem to have, like, a very strong opinion about, like, as what a certain type of person's life is like. I wonder if that person is, like, massively more successful than you are or not. Hover over it until it jiggles, then go left or right. When this card attacks, ignore. Defense. Injured. Add six defense next turn. What is the loop of this game like? Jorbs struggles to read the cards. Jorbs puts together some sort of deck. Jorbs either wins or loses, but without really being able to tell what's going to happen. Is the game eSport ready? I mean, if League of Legends is eSport ready, I think most games are eSport ready.
Yeah, I have that card. I've decided I will never want these. You won that lobby, you might be a dirty stream sniper. Yep. I hope you shower after that. You have to fill all the slots in the deck. If you do not, you will be provided a basic attack. Which will be placed in the deck for you. Ooh, this card ignores defense. Wow, I kind of like outplayed this player a little bit. And then died very easily. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Both play our cards. Add two attack. Crazy dance tune. This dance tune is so crazy. I probably should have kept that one. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> I love that the whale card just still deals more damage than the other stuff that I've put in my deck for no reason. I did a variety of strange, uh, strange things there. Can I please upgrade Claw before I sell it? Oh, I'm not going to sell it. Don't worry about it. Time for a crazy dance tune! Oh, you multi attack? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> Not sure I'm a fan of that. Nice. The best possible Cloud Sword cards, the ones that cost zero. Was that actual demon form? I played a thing that gave both players plus two strength. Ow.
Flow Cloud Chaos Sword. My deck seems very bad. An old silent pond. A frog jumps into the pond. Splash. Destiny again. Beautiful. Oh, I like their card backs. Those are fun. Turn sword intent 11. Hmm. It's kind of rude. It would cost 14 to level. Feels like kind of a lot. Where's the one that gives chi every turn? Did I get rid of it? Oh my god, where did it go? Did I play it? I had it, right? Did I get rid of it? Maybe I got rid of it. <laughs> I guess that's one way to play the game. Opponents can't see your hand, but they can see what deck you played last round with, I think. Not enough chi! Cannot use! You cannot use your thing as you don't have enough chi, you fool. You fool.
Is that last card actually a cloud sword? It is not. Wait, is it? I don't know. Maybe it is. It does have the word cloud and sword. I could put it on front of a cloud sword and we could find out. Why do I only get sword and ten six there? Hmm. They're scaling faster than me. Got there. Were they scaling faster than me? I don't know if they were scaling faster than me actually. The last sword formation card in the deck. Hmm. Ooh, another chase. Where do I put that? If you ever use Musician's card or the next slot in your deck is Musician's card. You have defense? Not really. Oops. Marrow Rhythm the Goat card. I love Marrow and I love Rhythm. Hexagram. One random effect gets the best result. Okay. What does this archetype do? I hit the enemy for a large amount. I am Hexagos to shore. That works. Ooh, they gained defense. Uh, hmm. Not sure that's ideal for me. I'm so confused. Do they deal damage in some way, or like... Is that a no? <laughs> what it... What it... Oh my god. As you hit them, you go further and further to the right, and I, I'm at a part of the scene I've never seen before. <laughs> They're a heal deck. Yeah, but... Don't you need to, like, deal damage in some way? I don't know. Maybe you don't. Do you have defense now? Oh no! You're too late, friend. know if that's any good.
I guess you could do the math. I don't actually have much chi. Now I have more? Yonder if a game can crash if the fight takes too long. I imagine that there's a timeout or something, I don't know. Is Crazy Dance good here? Probably not. Imagine if they like used defense. That'd be bad. You can only chase once per turn. Oh shit, you can use that first. And it will still chase, and it's a cloud sword. Oh nice. Okay. I get it. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, I'm just dead. They were so fast. They were faster than me. If I'd put the chase thing in the front, it would have worked. Fourth. Level five. Level five unlocks something. They're me, but stronger. I mean, they just built their deck better. Plus one, when break through the immortal fate slot. A Maticon. <sighs> I need to stretch my back. I'm in pain. Not fun. Go back.
Oh. All right. Okay. I'm kind of bored of this game already. I don't think this is like quite my game. It's too much. Um. You just kind of like. I don't know. I feel like the the decks are not that diverse, and then the way that you tech is too reactive to be interesting. I don't know. It's also possible that I am just in a lot of pain right now, and so nothing is enjoyable. <laughs> That's super possible. So what shall I play now? <sighs> <sighs> 